All right, guys, I'm really excited to review this. This is a Beta 85, F Beta FBB, Beta 85. Um, this is actually, I think, the biggest drone that they do that looks like this in terms of the blue color with the, uh, the cockroach shell on it, uh, like that. It really is a fast drone, guys. This is, they, so they do the Beta 65, the Beta 65S, the Beta 75, and this, the 85, referring obviously to the um, distance between the two motors either in either direction. Guys, I have to say this drone is fast. This is a super fast, um, super fast drone. Really well performing. It it comes with Beta Flight. You just plug in a micro USB to to the uh, to the board here, and you can configure it. You can flip it around. You can change your PIDs, change everything you need to change like that. Really impressive drone, guys. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just talk a bit more about the drone and its features, and then I'm going to cut to some footage of it flying around. Um, but obviously bear in mind as well, there is not like, there's not a super high quality camera on this thing, okay, it's obviously, I don't I don't know if it's 720p or, or something like that, but the camera on this is not like super high quality, but then again it doesn't really need to be, you know, you're just flying this thing around, you're trying to get into the hobby, get used to flying, um, really is great. One thing I would recommend is if you're just getting into this and you don't have a Tyrannus or a big controller, get this. Okay, this is the Beta FPV's official Free Sky controller. Really, really comfortable, really good. Um, let me just show you a close up of this. Really high quality. Um, yeah, it really is good. It really is good, especially if you're new to, uh, to flying and you just want to get used to flying. This is also a lot smaller and easier to carry around than a Tyrannus, and also you can recharge this via micro USB, which is huge. You know, that's, that makes it a lot easier. You can fly this thing around. The battery on this lasts for hours anyway. Um, and you've also got these configurable buttons here. But full disclosure, this does not come with this. You need to buy this controller separately. I'll put a link to everything I talk about in the description, including this, this lovely thing. But yeah, so this is the Beta FPV, Beta 85 racing drone. Um, as you can see, it comes with the, the tri-props like most of them do. I'm actually gonna get the other ones just to compare it for you. So this, this is the Beta 65S or the, or the uh, 65, sorry, and this is the 85. So as you can see, there is a huge difference in the size of these things. And as you can imagine also, because of that stability, because of that extra um, extra size, the Beta 85 is a lot more stable in high wind. You can fly this outdoors in wind and it's gonna perform so, so much better than its smaller cousin, the Beta 65. I would say, if you're, if you're just getting into this, this is what you should fly indoors you know, this is perfect for indoors and it can go pretty much around the whole house quite comfortably without losing signal. This is what I would recommend getting before getting a full-on race drone. Because this, you're just going to, you know, if you crash this thing, it's not going to break. I've crashed this thing at full speed into trees. It doesn't break, you know, I've crashed it into my friend. It doesn't do any damage whatsoever. Like this thing, it's just, it's just so... It's so durable, so so strong. You know, the, sh the shell on this is reinforced, as you can see through these like uh, duct type things here. It really is a strong, robust drone. Obviously, it's not waterproof, so don't crash it into any water. But this thing is really going to be great for you, especially if you're a beginner. Now, the batteries it comes with. It's going to come with one of these. This is a 550 uh, milliamp hour, um, 4.35 volt, 1s. LiPo battery, okay, so this is going to power your drone for about three minutes I, te I tend to get flights in the three and a half minute range, but just to be safe fly for about three minutes. Don't ruin the battery and And as you can see you just plug it in here and It's a power loop connector just like that and then the whole thing turns on and it's ready to be bound to the controller now what I'm going to do now is you know enough talking about this you can see you can see what it looks like you can see all the features here um, you can easily change the motor, the flight controllers, just like that. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut to some footage of this thing flying around and I'm just going to talk a bit about how it feels to fly and some things that you might want to watch out for. Okay, so let's cut to the footage now. So, as I said guys, this is a really great drone. It really does fly pretty fast. Like, if you're a beginner, um, it's going to be fast enough to have a lot of fun with, but not so fast that you lose control of it, okay? So what I would really suggest doing is just to first of all have it on self-leveling mode, okay? Have it on the mode where it doesn't just automatically like go in the direction where you point the thing. It's going to constantly keep itself level with its gyroscope. 
um, and just practice flying around with it, get used to the speed. I find with this thing, the uh, up and down speed, you know, the throttle in terms of how fast it can punch up into the air, that's a lot faster um, relative to the pitch speed. So be, be careful of that, you know, if you press the throttle up indoors, it's going to hit the ceiling pretty quickly. That's why I'm not filming any flights of this thing indoors, because it really does hit the ceiling pretty fast once you've... Uh, once you've done it. Anyway, great flyer guys. Check the link in the description if you want to get this drone. Um, the, also the controller, the link to the controller is in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.